if I came in here and uh, let's see, I came in here, let's say I'm hitting a little bit of a draw. I'm going to just draw this ball a little bit more than the last one that I hit. All right. Okay. So you see how that drew maybe just 10 yards left of that yellow flag out there? All right. If that were my target and I wasn't, a, and, and that was my consistent pattern <coughs> on this line, I shouldn't be aiming directly at that flag stick when I'm aiming the shot. All right. Conversely, if I came in here and I was cutting the ball, hitting it from left to right in my, my case because I'm a right-handed golfer, and the ball was curving the opposite way. Steve, can I be done? That was, no, I'm just kidding. All right. And I hit that little, you know, five yard bleeder left to right. It'd be silly for me to stand in here and feel like I'm going to aim at that flag and then I'm going to miss it to the right. All right. So we're going to do a little thing here where uh, I'm going to put a, 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 a stick out here to extend my target line a little bit. All right. Oops, that's a little crooked. There we go. Well, that's close enough. All right. So if I stood back here and I looked at where that stick is, and that was my extended target line, I now have to figure out, once I've developed that little swing that I can trust, and I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm not working really hard at my golf swing. There's not a lot of effort going into this. Obviously, I've probably hit thousands and thousands of golf balls, so it feels pretty easy to me. But there's not, I'm not trying to forcefully hit the golf ball. I feel like each time I swing, I'm making a pretty comfortable swing, and I'm able to stay in balance. Uh, there's a, uh, there's a turn, you know, there's, there's something I think in boxing where they say, you know, if you're losing your balance when you're throwing a punch, it's not an effective punch. If you're able to keep your balance and throw a punch, there's a lot more force behind it. So I'm swinging very balanced, and because of that, my club is moving at a, at a rapid speed, and I'm able to generate the distance I want. I'm not trying to force that distance. All right, so if I came in here and I thought, well, I've developed a pattern where I'm able to swing the club on this little path, and you can see I've started this swing circle here. It feels like it's going a little to the outside so that I can come a little more from the inside. That would be the opposite of what most people do, which is drag the club to the inside and then, you know, come over the top of it. That's the swing we see most of the time. Way inside and over the top. So if I can get a sense of, or a visual picture of how I want the club to swing, you know, I can hit a pretty consistent draw, which is a nice shot for an amateur. You get the most distance out of it. But I tell people who fade the ball, you know, hey, if you've got a 10 yard fade and you can do it every time, don't fight that tendency. Use it, but play it correctly, play smart.